This is Module 5, Lesson 26, Homework, Side 1. Today's objective was to decompose whole number fractions greater than 1 using whole number equivalents with various models. Number 1. Partition the number line to show the fractional units. Then, draw number bonds with copies of one whole for the circled whole numbers. The first number line I see tells me to partition into sixths. So I'm going to partition into thirds and then break each of those thirds in half to make sixths. Then I'm going to do the same thing between one and two. I will then label my fractions. So I have zero sixths, one sixth, two-sixths, three-sixths, four-sixths, five-sixths, six-sixths, seven-sixths, eight-sixths, nine-sixths, ten-sixths, eleven-sixths, and twelve-sixths. So when I look underneath, I need to know how many sixths equals zero. When I look at my fraction, there are zero sixths that are equal to zero. When I write that in numerical form, I write that as zero sixths. Number one has six sixths right above the one. That's why I'm writing it as six sixths. In numerical form, the numerator is 6 and the denominator is 6. I'm going to show this as a number bond. So to equal 1, I need 6 parts, each showing 1 sixth. When I count it, I have 1 6, 2 6, 3 6, 4 6, 5 6, and 6 6. Last, I'm going to look at number 2. Here is my fraction for the whole number 2. 2 is equal to 12 6. It also gives me that help in numerical form underneath. The number bond has already be, been created to show 6 6 and six sixths. In another way, we are saying one whole and one whole, which is equal to two. My second number line is telling me to partition into fifths. To partition into fifths, I need to draw four lines that are spaced evenly between each number. My number line this time starts with the number 2. My equal parts have been partitioned into fifths, so I need to multiply 2 times 5 to get my whole number. 2 times 5 is 10, so 10 fifths is the same as the number 2. That means it takes 10 fifths to equal 2, and in numerical form, that looks like 10 as the numerator and 5 as the denominator. To show this in a number bond, I'm going to show two fractions that equal one whole and have 5 as the denominator. When I think about one whole, I need to have the same numerator and denominator as that number. So if 5 is the denominator, 5 also has to be the numerator, giving me 5 fifths. Over here, I also need 5 fifths. Like I said, another way of writing 5 fifths is 1. 1 and 1 is 2. Finish the rest of the number line by labeling each fraction and then filling in how many fifths equals 3, how many fifths you need to equal 4, 
and completing each number bond.